Welcome back one and all to the Weekender's Edge. I'm your host, Nick Simonson, outdoors writer with my materials online at NewsDakota.com and DakotaEdge.com. So great to be with you here as we are closing in on the midpoint of December. Boy, oh boy, this season has gone by fast. But we're taking the next three days, your Friday, Saturday, Sunday, cramming them all into three minutes to help you get the best out of your late season hunting experience and those early adventures out there on the ice where it is suitable for fishing. On Friday the 11th, you'll have a wake-up low in the mid-20s with a high creeping up to right around 30 degrees on the day. Winds will be relatively moderate throughout the day, north at 15 with those occasional gusts over 20 miles an hour pretty much all day long. Mostly cloudy conditions will dominate while you are out there in the field or creeping out there on the ice. On Saturday the 12th, your wake-up low will be right around 20 with a high stuck in the mid-20s all day. Those north winds will increase slightly stronger at 20 to 25 miles an hour. And again, mostly cloudy conditions will dominate the day, giving way to some partly cloudy skies right around sunset. Our pick of the weekend is Sunday as we encroach on Monday's new moon. Sunday the 13th is your first day of Christmas. Whether you're after that partridge in a pear tree, some pheasants, or some grouse, you will have cooler temperatures as your wake-up low will start out in the mid-teens, high again, near 30, and the winds will shift to the west a little bit stronger at 18 to 26 miles an hour, but you'll have those partly cloudy skies on this final day of muzzleloader season. So, a good weekend shaping up, particularly if you're an ice angler after a warm spike we've had earlier in the week. This colder weekend is helping build stronger ice, and that's good news for everyone venturing out there. We caught up with Greg Enstead to give us an update from the Ashtabula Crossing on how ice is setting up on the lake and how those anglers who are getting out there on the good ice that has set up are succeeding in their efforts. The further north you go from here, the better ice you have. The quality of the ice is awesome. Nice blue ice, good hard ice, but we still have open spots down the lake out in the middle. I understand down south has quite a bit of open water on the Bayshore area. I did go up in the hill the other day and look. Down by the creek, there's some open spots here and there. Not large open spots, but large enough. As far as up here goes at the crossing, there have been people going on on the west side, and they're running into six inches ice now. So I guess I could say zero to six. Be careful. They've been using spud bars and pre-drilling out front and limited to the area they can go to, but they have got into some pretty decent perch. They got into some small perch. Um, Late afternoon walleyes, and they do catch quite a few uh, in the 14 to 16 range, but they are getting walleyes. That was Greg Enstead, owner of Ashtabula Crossing, giving us the lowdown and, of course, recommending that everyone be careful. Pre-punch your holes out in front of where you are walking. Use your spud bar and make sure everything's safe. Take that advice to heart as we get set on the season and have an awesome weekend. That wraps up the show for this week, folks. For the Weekender's Edge, I'm Nick Simonson. Good fishing to ya.